All right, so once you're in your Adobe Spark web page or account, um, you come to, this is your dashboard, and you know, if you've made any projects before, they'll be listed down here. These are the projects that I've made previously. But to make a new project, you simply go to this blue plus sign, and you have all of these options to choose from. Um, our poster is going to be right here, but you, in the future, have all of these as kind of a springboard if you don't quite know which direction you want to go. Um, it gives you different options. But if you know exactly what you want to do and you don't need to search or to look at all of the ideas, you just type in your project. And then because we're going to be doing a poster today, we're going to go with the 11 by 17. But again, in the future, if you use this for other projects, there are many different sizes that you could use. All right, so for the purposes of this project, I'm going to type in Earth. Okay, and then I can scroll around and see the different pictures. Obviously, we live on Earth, so there's lots of pictures of Earth, but the other planets won't give you as many on-planet pictures. All right, if you happen to choose the wrong picture, you know, or maybe you're looking, you have a few that you like, and as you're scrolling, you don't want to forget about them. So maybe you're like, oh, I like this one. Oh, no, wait, I like that one. So this is what I would do. Um, so that way I can have some to choose from once I'm done looking. Oh, that's kind of neat. And then when I'm done searching for the photo that I would like for my project, I can simply go back and then delete them. So I won't need that one. And I like maybe these three. Um, let's get rid of this one do this one. So the one that you have left is what you'll choose from. All right. So it says to double click to edit. Now if you don't like where it positioned your text box, you can simply click and drag and move it anywhere you would like. I think I'm going to stick it here. Double click to edit. Let's say welcome to our and then we'll stick it right there. Um, let's say you don't like the font or the background color or even the color of the font. Over here, here's your text styles. Here is your font. Um, let's go with that. Um, if you'd like to change the color, you simply click on color. Um, it gives you a diff bunch of different color palettes. Um, one of the things that I dislike is that it automatically gives you a background. For this project, the text box background might be very useful because you'll be working in, with pictures of space, um, so you might need that. But if you don't need it, you just come to shape and say, I don't want a backing color, and it'll get rid of it right away. But if you want to change the color, once you get rid of that backing space, you have a solid color instead of colored pairs. To choose from. Okay, if you want to add anything, you can add another text box, another photo, a logo, an icon. Um, the most populated planet. So then let's stick this here. Whoops. I want to change the size, so I come over here to size, maybe I want to change the font. Ooh, we definitely need to change the color. Okay, and maybe I want to give it a background, the text, maybe it needs to have a background. Whoop, nope. And if that happens, you just can click undo. Why did it do that? There we go. Yes, I had to click on it. Padding. Make the padding bigger or smaller. Go back to text. Oh, that does the spacing, but then you also have letter spacing because sometimes on a, on a poster that's really important. Your line spacing. Do you need the lines to be farther apart? 
that's neat. And again, if you don't like what you've done, you just click back to undo. Um, up here, before you finish your project, you might want to name it. Okay. Um, and then, you know, you have all these other options over here. You can resize it. You can do a different layout, colors, whatever. And anytime you need to add something again, you come over to add and you have all of these options. When you're done, so obviously this saves. So if I go back to my dashboard, it's right here. Okay, so I'll always be able to go back. It saves it. I'll always be, be able to go back and edit it. Um, but when I'm done, I get I just hit download. There we go. And it downloads for me here. Okay, and it's going to save it as a picture. Okay, so then I'll be able to print it. Wow. There we go. Simple and easy. And remember, if you need to go back, if you need to finish a different time, you it'll always save for you, and you can just click on it and edit it. And that is how you make a poster in Adobe Spark.